Hi, dude, Stu Doc here. Welcome back to some more Little Rita Do List Tuesday edition. So, we got Daniel Leo here at 114 and Sulasa 8192 here at 141. So, not a lot of people online that were lower than 100. So, I was like, forget it. Let's just find this. And hey, these guys are playing some MLG decks. Flip sewing in defense mode for the freaking win. There is the Cat of Ill Omen. The second time ever this has been seen on low rated duelists. Of course, it's going for a buck 69. I mean, why not? It's not a buck 68. It's not a buck 70. It has to be a buck 69, guys. Unbelievable. So, he flips someone that to put negate attack on the top of his deck. Of course, out of all trap cards in the entire game, you gotta put the powerful negate attack. And then now, Silas is gonna special summon his giant germ and attack right into the cat. Now, there should be an attack mode, but hey, in low rated duelist rules, you're allowed to flip someone in defense mode, guys. <laughs> of course. So, there goes bye bye to that. And what, you gonna set some cards or end your turn? I have no idea. Let's go over these guys' decks. We got a 56 card deck again. I believe we had one last Tuesday. Another 56 card deck. So, that Deja Vu for the win. He has two in the extra deck. And then Silas, on the other hand, has a 45 card deck with 15 in that extra deck. So, on this card is destroyed by battle. Sent to the graveyard to inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Does it really have that effect? No, yours. So, Daniel's going to copy and paste the effect of the giant germ for some random reason. I have no idea why you're doing that, but congratulations. Yeah, that's not what he meant, so I don't really know why he did that. So, let's see. Sila is going to set some cards. Okay, now he's going to take 500 life points. Really? Are you that confused about giant germ? Seriously, man? He's going to flip some of the giant germ, attack the cat of Omen, and I guess it has some random piercing. Nah, nah. I guess he's reading it if this card destroys a monster by battle and inflict 500 damage. But no, you were reading that wrong, Daniel. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> so let's see Silas. Wow! Five washers! In all caps! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Someone's excited. How do you spell someone? S O M E. <laughs> so we see a random giant germ played in Light Sorns for the win. Okay, he's going to be activating Solar Recharge in main phase 2, pitching the Tuner Minerva to draw 2 and then mill 2. He mills a Felice. I swear to God, don't you dare get back that Felice. I swear to the living lord out there, don't you dare try to get back that Felice. Okay, thank you. For a second there, I thought you were that bad. But seriously, okay, random giant germ in Light Sorns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a waste of a dark hole. <laughs> oh my god, so he's gonna waste the dark hole on a giant germ for no reason. This card is destroyed by battle. No, you do not lose 500 life points because it was not destroyed by battle. So, on the plus side, he will not be able to get that giant germ's effect because it was destroyed by a spell card effect, not by battle. So I believe Daniel now just realized that he's going to gain back 500 life points. He should totally gain back another 500, but hey, I'm not going to tell you how to play the game. Just going to let him duel, you know. So, Giant Germ with Light Swords, the best tier 1 deck ever, guys. Oh my god, seriously, man. <laughs> Maybe he's playing it for dark targets. Maybe he wants some more darks to play. Light Pulsar Dragon or Chaos Swords or BLS, I don't know. I remember about like a couple years ago, people said BLS should get banned. No, BLS doesn't do anything in the meta. Like, BLS is nothing compared to like the top decks now. So, here's the Lightshorn Sanctuary activated. The continuous spell card that reads Once per turn, you can send a Lightshorn monster from your hand to the graveyard. Target another Lightshorn in the graveyard, add it to your hand. Each time you mill a card, you can place a Shine counter on this card. If a Lightshorn monster you control will be destroyed, you can remove two shine counters instead okay so he's gonna be pitching Jane to add tuner Minerva really I mean Jane would be pretty nice in a situation like this 1800 beater mills two during the end phase but I mean what is the tuner Minerva gonna do like really man what was the logic of that what does maybe he has some like secret game plan we're about to find out it's back to Daniel's turn he's gonna set a monster here and then end his turn 
So, we got some of our number one fans here, FBI 1996, along with Shadow Rider Umbreon. So, Shadow Rider Umbreon, he is so close to being a number one fan. I say if he's in two more low-rated duelists by... Well, I think if he's in the low-rated duelist on Friday this week, I'll classify him as one of the number one fans, because this is just crazy how many times <laughs> he's been in low-rated duelists over the past couple of months and even in 2016. So, Shadow Rider Umbreon, you're about to join the club of the number one fans very shortly here. So, let's see, Seal what you're going to be doing here. He has seven cards to work with. I wonder if he's going to use this Light Sword and Sanctuary again. He's going to flip some in the Genus Light Sword Menderer. Yeah, a terrible card. I pulled two of these out of my Astro Pack opening, and I was so salty because it's just going for nothing. 59 cents, really? It's probably a lot cheaper than that. Like, I don't know who would pay 59 cents for this terrible card right here. Anyway, during the end phase, if a card, oh my god, was sent to the from your deck to the graveyard, you can inflict 500 damage and then gain a clutch 500. But unfortunately, you cannot normal summon in face-up defense mode, so you're, in order to normal summon it, it only has 300 attack. And then you're just going to have to hope that your opponent tacks into it, but I mean, hey, what are the odds of that happening in a meta like this? So he's going to be using the Lightshorn Sanctuary again, pitching the Tuner Minerva to add, I believe, Jane from his graveyard back to his hand. Let's see, see what you're going to be doing here. Still have no idea what Daniel's playing. He revealed a Dark Hole... To be completely honest, I forgot the other two guards that he revealed, unfortunately. Still cannot view the graveyard because it promotes cheating. Yeah, buddy. So now Steelize is going to be banishing the Giant Germ along with the Felice, the Special Summon, probably a Chaos Sorcerer or BLS. And there is the BLS. Yeah, buddy. 45 card deck, and he conveniently gets it. So I knew it. I knew he was playing Giant Germ for dark targets, but I mean, seriously, there's so much better dark targets. Oh, yeah, there is the, the Cata Ill Omen, because he used the Cata Ill Omen to put Negate Attack on the top of his deck. See, like, you should have known that was the set card, so you probably should have banished the monster. But I mean, come on, there's so much better dark monsters to play than the, the freaking Giant Germ. Like, really, man? But hey, if it's going well for him, then congratulations. He's picked up 41 straight points on DN with it. So he's going to set a card during main phase 2, set two cards, then go straight into end phase. And I do not believe he mills, so you should just end your turn. Let's check out this watcher's chat here, guys. Stew Dog, we want pizza with pancakes now. <laughs> oh my god, pancakes? Really? MLG negate attack. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hmm... <laughs> Giant German light swords kill me now. Mm, oh my god. Remember guys, click this link to support Stu Dog. Oh, thank you FBI, you finally sent me a link that isn't a virus. It's a link to my YouTube channel. That's literally the first time ever he sent a link that isn't a virus in the watchers chat. Stu Dog, we no longer want pizza, we want extra large peaches with bacon. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, so if any of you guys want to watch this, feel free to er, read this, feel free to pause the video. There's no way I can read all this. But wow, these guys are just crazy in here. So it is back to Daniel's turn. I have no idea what deck he is playing here. He has five cards to work with. Come on man, show the power of your MLG deck to the fans at home. We are ready. Oh wait, it's not his turn. I guess he just end? ended his turn? It's going to be pitching Aaron... To add Tuner Minerva. Guess he wants to go into Michael. Cause, I mean, Aaron would be pretty good to spin that set monster back into the deck. But I mean, I guess Michael too strong, guys. So I was gonna summon that, and when it's summoned, you can add a light monster, a light dragon monster from your deck to their hand, whose level is less than or equal to the number of light swords in with different names in your graveyard. But unfortunately, I don't think you got that many, as you only got four cards in that graveyard, and Last time I checked, there's not a lot of light dragon type monsters that have two or less stars that you're actually going to be searching out. So, he is viewing that extra deck. Most likely going to go into that Michael and it'll attack directly for quite a bit of points of damage. Over 5,000 to be exact. So, yep, there it is. Dirt cheap as always. 10 cents. 
believe it got reprinted as a common in the either the last turbo pack or okay he's not gonna use the effect he's gonna attack the big shield card now <laughs> I have no idea why he didn't use the effect and I have no idea why the Big Shield Garden is still sitting here on the field. Is unfortunately that only has 2,600 defense points, not enough to protect itself from the BLS. Don't know why that's going to attack mode as it should be in the graveyard right now. So Daniel, what are you doing, man? <laughs> yeah, it still dies. That's what I thought. So thank you, I guess. Then BLS will attack directly again for 3,000. And then Michael will get in for 2,600. For a grand total of 5,600 points of direct battle damage. Bringing Daniel down to below 2,000 life points. Oh, seriously, man. You... Why did you waste that Dark Hole? That Dark Hole is one of the biggest wastes ever. Like, come on, man. Just facepalm so hard. A dark hole would be so nice in a situation like this, but nah, nah. You gotta waste it on a pathetic giant germ that isn't doing anything. Again, forgetting to mill. That is mandatory milling during the end phase, man. I swear to God, if you use that effect. Okay, it's just gonna mint defeat. Yeah, that actually is mandatory milling from Michael. And the Arm Dragon level 3 wasn't really gonna do anything, so. Ha, ah, whatever. I was wondering how long this video has been going for. Solid 11 minutes. I guess we'll pause the video and get one more in. So, thank you all for watching the first duel. We're going to pause the video and get one more in. Okay, guys, we're back. Didn't really get a good chance to show the power of Daniel's deck, so we're here. And, of course, he just conveniently lands on heads with the Cup of Ace, because why the frick not? All the Lorita duelists always land on heads with the Cup of Ace. Oh, my God. And then I was going to be playing Ancient Rules, a special summon a level 5 or higher norm. <laughs> That is not normal, my good sir. That is an effect monster. That is a orange effect monster. So I have no idea what the heck just happened there. So he's going to up against Wildlife. He has a 98 rating with 10 experience. 40 card deck with 6 in that extra deck. So I guess a new errata on Ancient Rules. You can just special summon effect monsters whenever you feel like it. I guess he's like, no, nah, I'm going to special summon Demok, but not use the effect. I'm just going to pretend it's a normal monster. He's like, five or higher, it's correct, or... <laughs> what is he even saying? <laughs> Got that MLG cap lock. There's a lot of people in the comments saying that it's so funny when people just use all caps on DN. <laughs> it is funny. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, Demok is not a normal monster. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, he's going to take it back. A little bit of confusion here to start the second duel, but it all good, bro. I'm gonna add back that ancient rules, or I'm gonna special summon something else. Maybe as like a blue eyes white dragon. Who knows? So apparently, just gonna put keep ancient rules in the graveyard and just add the demock to his hand. Okay, it makes perfect sense, guys. So let's see, wildlife. What are you gonna be doing? He's gonna set a monster, and then set one set spell or trap. I don't know. Scratch that too. Oh, and then activate terraforming. Okay, perfect order right there. Unfortunately, Chicken Game's banned. He's going to go for the Sky Iris. This guy better not PM and M and say, What's your pendulum? Last time we seen Sky Iris on Low Rita Duelist, the guy was like, What is a pendulum? And now he's going to play Pot right after he did that. So there's Dragon Pit, Double Dragon Pit, and one other card revealed. Okay, then. He's going to be adding the Dragon Pit and then maybe playing it using the Sky Iris. The world may never know, guys. So, what does this do again? Yeah, I have no idea what this does. <laughs> I know it, like, adds cards. I don't know, he's going to set his scales first. So, Dragon Pit plus the Stargazer, and then he's just going to end his turn. Okay. So I know this prevents destruction, because I remember Daffy Duck, when I casted his duel, he accidentally killed, or destroyed, or targeted. This prevents targeting, right? Cannot be targeted. I know he accidentally targeted his opponent's skills with Sky Iris, Iris on the field, and both the people got away with it. Really? You're going to Mirror Force a Corroding Shark. And for some reason, this monster does not get Flip Face up. Why is this not Flip Face up? Come on, man. What the frick is this? The Corroding Shark. Level 3 normal monster, 
1100 attack. A zombie shark that can deliver its lethal curse with a spell. Like, really, man? What the frick? <laughs> oh, my God. And Swords needs to flip that monster. Come on, man. Flip that monster. Come on, man. Read your own swords. Not that hard. And then we see a random Eye of Truth played in Pendulum Magicians. Okay. Best card to play in Pendulum Magicians confirmed. The powerful Eye of Truth. So your opponent must keep their hand revealed and during each of your opponent's standby phases if they have a spell card in their hand they gain a thousand life points and then he's going to decree his own card so who, who needs Eye of Truth? I'm just going to decree my own Eye of Truth. Okay. God the logic. You can't question this logic guys. 2 MLG. And out of all cursed circle 4 he's going to go for the powerful arm dragon level 3. Oh kill me now guys. Kill me now. So now he's going to Pendulum Summon Swords! Brody! Swords! It's sitting right in front of your face! Swords! You cannot attack! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my dear lord, just kill me. Seriously. Put a pistol to my face and kill me. So he's like, he plays Rural Decree in a deck that has a lot of traps with the F. What is going on guys? Seriously. Yep, there's swords. Daniel said nothing in lowercase, it's just been all caps from Daniel here, so thank you for using the caps lock. Even though his username has some lowercase letters, he's just too pro, he just has to use that MLG cap lock. And he's finally gonna flip summon the monster, the Performer Pell Trump Witch. Not the first time we've seen this on Low Rated Duelist. So it's monster effects says that you can tribute this card to add a polymerization from your deck to your hand. I believe there's only one standby phase, but whatevs, apparently not. Isn't that only one? I swear to god that was... Or, oh my god, I typed that wrong. And I didn't mean to do that in all caps, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's a problem trying to type in a chat box and commentating at the same time. Yeah, I know, FBI ditched us, no joke. Like seriously, FBI, so much for being a number one fan. Oh, the ditching. So real. So I believe now Swords dies. That's been three turns. I swear to God that Sarko was only one turn, but hey, I don't know how to count, guys. He's now going to tribute his Arm Dragon level 3 for the Arm Dragon level 5. And then now he's going to do something here. I have no idea what he's going to do. I guess not attack? I don't know. BRB. Now he's going to Pendulum Summon another Odd Eyes Magician. Or Pendulum Magician, or Pendulum Dragon, oh my freaking god, all these names sound so similar. So there's Odd Eyes Pendulum Magician, Odd Eyes this, Odd Eyes that, so now the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. And then now he's going to special summon the Arm Dragon level 7 in the next standby phase. Tributing his Arm Dragon level 5. Too pro to attack for some random reason, okay. While at the same time wildlife guess he could exceed. Hmm, I don't know, I guess he doesn't want to exceed or anything. Whatever, this is probably going to be a long duel, guys. So, let's see what he's going to do. Got quite a bit of cards to work with, unfortunately, that Decree. There's no real need to activate the Decree, because none of those set cards were a threat. I guess you don't want your opponent to gain the thousand life points, but then again, why did you activate the Eye of Truth in the first place? I have no idea. So there's Negate Attack activated. Unfortunately, Decree is face up on the field, my good sir, so that would do absolutely nothing. Well, you can still technically activate it, but it just does nothing. So he's like, you can't activate it. Actually, you can activate it, it just will not do anything. So, yeah, not much more to say about that. He's gonna kill his own Odd Eyes. This does go to the extra deck, not the graveyard. Unfortunately, we're not in the future. If the time machine was invented, we can go to the future when Konami makes the rule that pendulums go to the graveyard. Unfortunately, we're not in the future yet. I believe it's gonna be probably another year and a half till Konami makes that rule that pendulums go to the graveyard. But it will happen eventually, guys. So he's gonna kill his own card, and then it doesn't go to the extra deck. So I guess pens don't go to extra? I don't know, guys. Learn something new every day. <laughs> People these days. 
Okay, so he's going to tribute his arm dragon level 7 to summon the arm dragon level 10. I believe this is the fourth and final arm dragon monster. Okay, now he's finally going to put in the extra deck. And then the phalanx pike is activated to equip on his monster, most likely. And the equipped monster gains 900 attack for each card in either player's graveyard that has the same name as it does. Okay, I'm just going to take his word for it that that is the legal play. So it gains 2,700 attack points. <laughs> have no idea if that's actually how this works. 900 attack points for each card in either player, in either graveyard that has the same name, that has the same name it does. What? Brody! Decree! Are you effing kidding me? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my freaking god! The heck, rule 94 by Stew Dog. Extra deck is not used commonly. Where, when I am here, I equal Stew. Dog. What does that even mean? Bazooka Pal. What does that even mean? So apparently, rule decree just doesn't mean anything, guys. Who needs decree? He attacks right into the mirror force. None of these guys care that there's a perfectly good decree sitting here on the field. Even though in the previous turn when he attacked into a negate attack, nah, you couldn't use the negate attack. But for some random reason, you can use the decree. Oh my god, kill me now guys, just kill me now. Unbelievable. So now Wildlife's gonna Pendulum Summon and go for the Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. Attack directly for, oh my freaking god, I swear to god if you kill it. So, there's a Mirror Force activated. He cannot negate because there is nothing in the extra deck unfortunately. That's why he didn't, shouldn't have went for that. And Om. Um, what does Om um mean? So I believe this does negate cards by shuffling cards in your extra deck back into the main deck. Fortunately, you don't got anything in your extra deck. So, we're just going to sit here. He's just clicking it. <laughs> Who cares about Decree, guys? Who cares? What did this Watcher Chat has to say about this? Ten years later. What the F is going on? <laughs> oh my god, seriously. What is going on, guys? So, Decree... I guess Decree only negates counter traps now. Oh my god, I'm not putting my cap locks on. Who keeps putting my cap locks on? I'm not doing that, I swear to god, guys. Oh my god, hard, hard up. Okay, hard up, guys. <laughs> oh, this video's probably been going on for much longer than need be. Like, seriously. I messed up. Seriously, you need to work on your spelling, man. <laughs> MLG logic, yes indeed. Mm, 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 mm. Already a 23 minute video. No, we're just gonna pause the video, wait for these guys to figure it out, because it's just stupid. Okay, now they're finally realizing that they cannot use traps. Oh my god. Wow. So much for repairing the game state, I guess. I don't know. So, we can't use traps. This guy needs to work on his sentences or something, because. He spelled doesn't wrong, he spelled monster wrong, he spelled hold wrong, he spelled up wrong, he spelled um wrong, he spelled hmm, take wrong, he spelled arm wrong. So that's like five words right off the bat that he spelled wrong. Like, er, probably more than five, but my god. So he's just gonna take back everything. The mirror forces just magically go to the graveyard now. You still got the equip spell card that you can bring back so you can add back that equip card in your graveyard and equip it to the arm dragon level 10 and then now the pendulums are just going to die now oh my god this game state is so messed up it's not even funny how messed up this game state is now arm dragon level 10 is going to attack into the trump witch so daniel's in a pretty winning position right now Seven cards to work with. It should be eight because you do get that equip spell back. I, mean, I guess that short term memory loss. I guess he just forgot that he had that equip spell card equipped it to it. Again, I have no idea if that equip spell actually did what Daniel thought it does. 
because that has some messed up text, but I'm just going to take his word for it. <laughs> I mean, he is the one playing the deck, so he obviously knows what his own cards do, guys. I mean, just obviously. It's not like turn one he tried to do ancient rules and special summon a D-Mock. I mean, nah, nah, of course. He knows what his own cards do, guys. So, Alexandre Dragon is now normal summoned, and then he's going to pendulum summon double odd eyes. And probably the Trump. Actually, no, you can't. That's level one, and this is a scale one. So you cannot summon that. Don't really blame the, some of these watchers for leaving. I mean, the brain cells are just destroyed by now. <laughs> you remember last Tuesday, the brain cells? Oh my god, just every single time we watch this segment, I'll lose brain cells. That's probably how I've gotten worse at the game. I've just gotten so rusty. And like Some of the duels in the live stream... Like a couple Fridays ago, I was just so rusty. It wasn't even funny. I believe it just has to do with watching all these low-rated duelists. I mean, we've had over a hundred episodes of this segment, and my god, the brain cells lost are just so real. It's not even funny how many brain cells I've lost by watching some of these. But anyway, he's going to attack again, and there's another negate attack activated. Wow. And again, that does nothing. So I have no idea why. I guess he's just going to keep on trying to activate traps and hope that his opponent realizes that they or just forgets about the decree or something because I mean really man it's like the third time he's tried to utilize traps <sighs> but unfortunately for him it's just not working out so he attacks right into an arm dragon level three so this will be probably the first life points dealt in this duel okay <laughs> really man no, Odd Eyes does have one negation. Thanks to the Pendulum in the extra deck. Arm Dragon level 10 is now going to attack into the Alexandrite Dragon. Wildlife will lose a thousand life points. And then what? Game over? <laughs> nah, nah, it's not game over. Seriously, this video has been going on for way too long. Like, oh my god, way too long. Didn't help that that first duel was 11 minutes. Might even cut that first duel out. I don't know. Then again, I introduced the video in the first duel. Oh, I don't know. I had no idea what I'm going to do with this video, guys. Absolutely no idea. Oh, dear lord. So, main phase 2, he's going to be discarding Baby Dragon. Because he feels like it, I guess. Oh, no. He's going to be activating this. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard to destroy all face up monsters your opponent controls. That's not that bad. Fortunately, they'll probably negate or not. I do believe that card negates, right? Or is that the fusion? Oh, that might be the fusion. Oh my god. I, I might have got that mixed up with the fusion. I don't know. They, they all look the same and do the same in my book. Mm, I have no idea, guys. Just this video, man. Just the brain cells have been so lost. I can't even tell the difference between a fusion odd eyes and a exceed on eyes. So yeah, MLG Baby Dragon for the win. He's much more than just a child. This dragon is gifted with untapped power. Now Wildlife, he's going to be activating Pot of Duality to reveal the odd eyes advent, Oaf Dragon, along with the Bashing Shield. Unfortunately, you cannot Pendulum Summon this turn because you played Pot. Hmm, we're about to find out. <laughs> Watch him try to pendulum summon. Oh, I'll feast palm so hard. Because, I mean, by playing pot, you're pretty much losing the duel, because now Arm Dragon's just going to get in for so much damage. So, you better have a game plan, Wildlife. You better have a game plan. Okay, he's going to be adding the Oaf Dragon Magician. And shuffling the other two cards back into his deck. And he's just going to end his turn. Okay, best turn ever, guys. And Pot of Duality is just floating here on the field. Okay, Pot of Duality continuous confirmed 2016. God, Dan, you got all those cards in your hand. You can't just summon another monster and end this freaking duel. Like, really? Oh, my God. And don't even get me started how 
good like a spell shattering. Well, I was thinking fairy wind, but unfortunately there was decree, but mmm. Just something to get rid of those face up cards would be nice. If only Fairy Wind was a quick play. Oh my god, Fairy Wind quick play version would put in so much work right about now. Why is Pot sitting here on the field? What do the watchers gotta say about this? Pot of weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Pot is now a continuous You knew someone in the watcher shop was going to say that. Pot is now a continuous spell. Of course it is, guys. Oh my dear lord. So now he's going to be sending three cards in his extra deck to the graveyard. And I have no idea why he did that, but congratulations, I guess. And do you have a play or not? We're about to find out. Oh yeah, those should have went to the frickin' graveyard, because he used this guy's effect. Wow. Just now realize that. It sucks losing all these brain cells watching these videos, man. It's so hard to commentate when you just constantly lose brain cells. And he's just gonna end his turn. Oh my god. Seriously, Daniel, if you don't win it this turn, I will stab someone. Like, seriously, Daniel, win the duel this turn. Oh my god! I'm done. I'm so freaking done. Come on. Why did you pitch the baby dragon then? Well, you could have pitched any other freaking card. Why did you pitch the baby dragon? Because you easily had the baby dragon in your hand. You could have summoned that. Are you freaking kidding me, Daniel? Just win this god dang duel. Ah, oh, face palm so hard. Face palm. Just off the charts right here. Off the freaking charts. Just the face palm. Well, this is officially a 31 minute video. Congratulations. Okay, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this recording. I'll probably cut some of it out. I might even cut out the entire first duel. I don't know, but just messed up right here. Just completely messed up. So let's see wildlife. You got six cards in your hand. Got that one random Trump witch in your graveyard, which isn't going to do anything. Or in your pendulum zone, rather. And then Pot of Duality is just magically floating here on the field. So Pot of Duality Continuous Spell confirmed. <laughs> I was like, how is that still in the field, man? I know, and then Shadow Rider. But he's angry watching this. He's like, he could have won. We all know he could have won that. But nah, nah, winning the duel is bad, guys. Don't ever win the duel. It's like, why said if you only had 700 life points left? You can't question the logic, guys. You cannot question this MLG logic. Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, my God. Hi. Really? That's all you got to say, Daniel? Hi. Really? Hi. At a time like this. Hi. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> Next turn. And, okay, Wildlife's not gonna lose all his life points and lose. Okay, then, best duel ever. Confirmed. Oh my dear lord. Seriously, what did I just watch? What did I just watch? So, apparently, I got the fusion and exceed version of the Odd Eyes monsters mixed up. So apparently it's the fusion guy that negates and not the exceed monster. Okay then. Pot of duality confirmed, best card ever. Who cares about decree? Uh that sword that first turn freaking activate that how oh, was that card called? Ancient rules, special summon democ, best play ever. Aya Truth, just the best card in Pendulum Magicians, like so much, but thank you all for watching this messed up edition of Low Rated Duelist. Probably gonna cut out the first duel just because I do not want this to be 34 minutes, but whatevs. Thank you all for watching, as always, and until next time, Stew Dog, and I'm out.